let's talk about the japt and the zamindar see the main source of income of the mogal emperors was the revenue which was collected from the land therefore all those people in between the intermediaries were termed as zamindar the zamindar were those people who collected the revenue on behalf of the mogal emperor now raja todermal envisaged a beautiful system of revenue collection which was later adopted by other mogal emperors also todermal was the revenue minister during sher shah suri's and akbar's reign according to this system the revenue was fixed for 10 years and there used to be a circle revenue rates that is based on the fertility of the soil the production that would come out and this circle revenue rate was called as the zapt and he is to measure the land by the bamboo and in between there is to be iron rings so that the bamboos would not contract or expand according to the temperature but sometimes the zamindars would become very powerful and they would revolt against the mogal emperors and sometimes the people revolted against the zamindar and at other times the people and the zamindar together revolted against the mogal emperors now let's look more into the policies of akbar as far as the administration is concerned about this abul fazl the great historian who wrote akbar nama and in the later volume which is called aine akbari he beautifully described the system of administration during akbar's reign as far as the provinces are concerned the country was divided into subas that is provinces and each province was under a subedar who used to be a military commander and then there was a diwan who was in charge of the finance there used to be bakshi who used to be the paymaster general of the army then sadar who was responsible for all the religious patronage and donations the fauzdar who was the military commander and the kotwal who was the police commander of the province this is the provincial administration of akbar that is the country being divided into provinces which were termed as subas